What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about today is how to get any free power up legend in Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Now, a lot of you guys still uh, don't really grasp the concept that a lot of these power ups that you're going to be starting to do are already free, especially the legends. All right. The other power ups that you get, if you're a grinder, you should have gotten packs that given that, that have given you a certain amount of um, power ups for free. If you don't grind, then everything is going to be through packs. Or you're going to have to get lucky with, um, you know, doing the sets or whatever like that. But for people that are asking, it's so many new people that are joining us and they're trying to get better at Madden and they're trying to complete some of the legends that I have. And they're wondering like, yo, bro, I can't find it or the price is too high. How do you get these legend power ups now? Pretty much right here, you're going to go to legends. So this is very important for, you know, either our veterans or our new guys alike. When they start releasing Bo Jackson's, whoever, like whoever they're going to be releasing, this is what they're doing. They're giving you the power-up initial card for free. Now, I've made a video about this earlier, but this one is going to be the go-to video for everybody that asks me, how do you get that legend power-up? Because you do not have to buy it. And a lot of you guys are like, yo, they're ripping me off, Jemiah. It costs too much on an auction house. That's because you're not taking a little bit of time to go ahead and do this part right here. Now, after you play this, you get the free power-up, okay? Once you get the free power-up, it's on you to do what you need to do with it. Let me give you an example about what's going on, right? I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go into the auction house right now, and I'm going to show you what's going on with the power-ups of the legends, okay? This is what a lot of you guys are doing. It's similar to, like, you know, when you first get the game and you're buying playbooks when all you have to do is make tokens to make the playbooks. So now what, what's happening is I figured it out yesterday. I was talking to a couple guys in, in the comment section, and I realized something. A lot of you guys don't, like, I ask you guys to, like, please go through the playlist. Like, this is how to build your Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Please go through the playlist and look at the titles and see exactly what corresponds to you. I ask you guys to do it. You guys don't do it, and then you keep asking me questions. So this is going to be the video that I'm going to respond with, all right, for anybody else that's new or if it's the first time that you're doing it. That, that way is just easy. You don't have to go back. You don't have to watch anything. It's right there in the title, okay? So these are the power-ups, and we're going to go to um, the program chemistry. Hold on, so hold on a minute. I want the program to be legends, but you can't do the legends and the power-up. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. But we could go to Legends and then go to the 73 overalls, I guess. And then um, that way it'll show us the, um, it should show us the base the base cards. No, it's not showing it to us? That's kind of, so what is it, going to be Power Up then? What are those? Because the, I think the Power Ups to the Legends, are, yeah, like this. Okay, so look, this is what you would have to go to. Now, obviously, Champ Bailey is not really that dude right now because they just, what, they released Aeneas or something like that. Yeah, Aeneas Williams. There's a lot of other cards like that. All of these cards are available for free. All these power-ups, okay? You can see that Gonzalez is a little bit higher. He's a 73, whatever. But I had an interesting question because people, they were having issues with getting this Vic power-up. But since then, a lot of people have put it back out because what happened was this. A lot of people didn't want Vic, right? So when they did that, that solo, they sold them immediately. And then after you sell them, it's like you, there's really, it was a lack of the amount that was available. And if you want to power up any card to the maximum level, you got to start with the base power-up. In this case with the Legends, these Legends start at 72, 73. The base power-ups for the other cards start at 68. Okay, so if we go over to the 68 area, these over here, depending on the ones that you want, can be very, very expensive. Okay, they can be very, very expensive. But there's so many of them. So as you're building your team, you have to decide, you know, what you want to do. But I've been asked already thousands of times, I can't power up this guy. I can't power up. What's going on? You have to start from the base. Okay, so when you start from the base now, it doesn't matter which one you pick, you're able to see everything that it can be upgraded to. Okay, so now that we understand that, we should all understand that every legend that comes out on the weekend, you're going to get a solo for it to get the base power up. So you should never ever be buying anything from that store. You listen, it the inside the auction house, you should not be buying power ups. Nobody that watches this channel should ever buy another uh, base power up. If you want it, you play the solo and you grind it out from there. All right, what do you do after you get the power up? After you get the power up, you're going to come over here. You're going to see most of my guys are already powered up, but we're going to go to the power up section just to make it easier. Let's use, for instance, Michael Vick, okay? We're going to go ahead. We're going to press the uh, X button or the A button, I believe, if you're on Xbox One. We're going to go to upgrade, okay? Now, we've already upgraded, up, upgraded him up to his maximum level already, okay? So that's fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go as if we didn't know what we were doing and we're starting from, you know, from scratch. This is what would happen. You would have to start putting him in step by step by step by step, okay? So even though you have another version of Vic, 
you still have to complete his entire legend before you can put it into this, okay? That's the only way to do it. You can't do it any other way. So a lot of you guys had the 91 Vic, and you just started powering him up, but all you're going to do is add a chemistry slot, a scheme chemistry slot. You can't do anything else to it if you start from that 91 overall card, okay? You have to have the base, all right? So after you're done doing all of this, you'll see everything else unlocks, and then you can figure out what you want to do from there. But there's nothing else that you can really do um, as far as upgrading it from the other card. Everybody has to start from whatever there is. So the Legends are 73 uh, or 72, and the base cards are 68, okay? So what does that mean? That means going forward, you can analyze what you want based on your team because the Legends have different chemistries. And a lot of you guys have been asking about the chemistries. Um, is that something that you would want to do? They're like, yo, g -Mai, is it worth it? Is it worth it for me to buy the packs to like try to get these Legends done because the Legends add an additional chemistry that the other cards don't have? That's the only reason why the Legends are going to be taking off later in the year, in my opinion, is because they add a little bit more. Okay, what do I mean by that? Let's take Sean Taylor, for example, right? He's a legend card, right? So when you go to go uh, for his lockdown, you're going to see things like this. The legend run D, you know what I'm saying? You're going to see the legend pass D. You're going to see these type of things. Now, you can look over here and see how many players it requires. That requires 30 players, okay, for the legend chemistry. Are you going to have 30 legends on your team? See, these are the things that you have to understand. Everything is there for you at the launch. This is the first time in Madden 19, um, you know, going back from when Ultimate Team has been popping. This is the first time that they've pretty much given you everything right in your face. And now you just have to decide what you want to do with it. That's pretty much what's going on here. They've given you the, yo, you can do whatever. You, by the end of the year, most of you guys are going to be playing teams that have 99 speed. All kinds of crazy stuff's going to be going on. It won't really matter. How are we going to do it? We're going to do it based on different type of aspects, Okay. What's going to happen is we have to figure out the best case scenario, but what I can tell you is this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have 30 legends just running around and just doing whatever they want. I don't know. That doesn't mean that you won't. The legends, though, are going to give you the best opportunity if you give everybody the same chemistry to be really, really good. The only issue is, like with Pass D, that you're talking about 30 players on the defensive side of the ball. So you have 11 starters, guys. Okay, so you could get the times two. 11 times two is still, you know what I'm saying, it's 22. So you're going to have to have an additional, you know, what is it? That's 22. You're going to have additional four players. So it's going to be, you're going to need 15 players with times two to get this plus one speed and all this extra stuff from the legend chemistry. Not not to even mention that you could do so many other things with the um, with the way that they have it with, uh, with the physical when a lot of guys are running around with sprinter now and they have all these players and you know what I'm saying? Because with just 10 sprinters, you get plus one speed. So you can do that. You know what I'm saying? And that, it's going to cost you 10,000 training points, but you're going to already have plus one speed to everybody that's a sprinter on your team. So that's already additionally ridiculous. So there's so many different ways to do it. And a lot of you guys that are asking about the legends and GMI, what do you think they're going with it? Are they going to have really, really good legends this year? We don't know. In the past, they've had really, really bad legends. They've had legends that you're like, what? I watched that guy play. That guy sucks. There's one guy on ESPN on some show. He played for the Chargers. Dude had negative one sacks, and he was a legend. I, I, I don't even remember who the guy's name was. It doesn't really matter. Let's not talk about that. Let's go over now and look at the legend section and see what's going on and what we can, see, you know, what we can envision coming later. Now, there's 16 sets right now. Okay, so you're talking about on the defensive side of the ball, we're going to need at least 15 players. So this is not all defensive. And the offensive legends don't have those chems. So you would have to actually wait. So EA is giving you all these opportunities to be able to get additional speed, zone, and all that stuff like that. So as the year goes on, people that you run into are going to have really, really wild teams. Now, what does that mean for you? It really doesn't matter. You're going to still be able to do what you have to do against these teams. You're just going to have to play smarter. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you Vic's um, legend, you know, his legend status and stuff like that so you can understand more or less what's going on. When you go over to Vic, right, and you go over to that same section, this is what I'm talking about. On the defensive side of the ball, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have the, this is going to be the offensive side, right? So you're not going to have the same chems. So you're realistically going to have to do a lot of different things in order to make these guys, you know, pretty good. But ultimately you're going to get the same type of effect. You're going to get the speed. See, at the end, when you get to 30, what EA is doing is they're giving you the opportunity to build your team however you want, okay? 
The issue is you'll never get to this status of the cards if you don't start from the base, which I'm showing you, and EA is giving you that base for free. Like, yeah, here, take this. Go ahead, run with it, and let's see what happens with you. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's pretty much what they're doing. The only issue is you have to be smart about it, okay? You got to know what card is going to be worth it the most to you and keep going on throughout the year because what I think their plan might be is for you to ultimately get all of these cards to 99 through chemistries and all kinds of crap. So if you start to build your team now with these cards, it's going to be easier for you later on because people are asking me, what do I think is going to happen when another card comes out that's better than Vic? Realistically speaking, I don't see a card that's going to be able to do that, especially if you have... Um, you know, if you have Vic maxed out with the stuff that he has, because he has the speed, he has the throw power, he has a deep throw accuracy, he has everything that you need. So if they keep releasing additional cards, he's only going to get better. The problem is if you start late, it's going to be an issue for you to get him up to this point. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a problem with you guys asking, how do, how do you get these cards? What's going on? Because like I said, when people play these solos earlier, a lot of dudes that are grinders, they would just get the card, and when they had the base power up, they know that people are going to probably need it. So when it was really, really high, you know, the market was looking for them, they just put them out for high prices, sold them, and it's gone. So there's no more. So after everybody sells their power-up cards, how else can you get it? You see what I'm saying? Because it's very, very hard to pull it in the pack, and there's no other way for you to get it. So that's the reasoning behind it. So some of these power-up bases, like uh, a Tyreek Hill, he was going for like 40, 50K. He's come down now. But the reason for that is you can't get him to that additional speed unless you had that base card. So these base cards are very important. And I have to make sure that, you know, you guys really get the gist of it. Because if you don't, it gets very, very difficult along the way, when, you know, when you're trying to figure out what goes on. Because these are required for the upgrades, Okay. Whatever, you, whatever way you decide to go with your team after, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you know that that's what's required. You cannot just start upgrading a guy that is, you know, just your, you know, your card that you have. You can't, like, you get the 91 Vic. All right, I'm, I'm just going to click on 91 Vic. No, you have to start from the base. So that's the way that it happens. Hopefully this thoroughly explained everything. If you or your friends, family, whoever's having issues with it, Please forward the video so they can understand it uh, in its entirety and they understand. So that way they don't need to ask anybody else about how they get it. If you are one of the people that got it and sold it and you're looking to get it again, you have to lurk the auction house with the way that I showed you earlier. And then you should get something, you know, uh, sooner or later. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Welcome to Jemaya's World once again. If you're not already a member, I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.